Now, if you've been tying for any amount of time, you've probably done what I'm about to do right now. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Savage Flies. My name is Matt, and thank you for stopping by. So what I'm talking about is you've gone out to a fly shop, you've picked up some flies or uh, maybe something that they've recommended. You take it out on the river, it does great for you. You take it back home and look at it and say, I'm going to tie this thing. So that's what I did several years ago. I picked up this fly on the recommendation from the folks up at Backwater Anglers here in Maryland, and I had a great day with it. And looking at it, I said, this is really a pretty simple tie. Now, I have no idea what the history on this thing is. It's probably been created by, you know, dozens of people over many years. It's one of those flies that's just named exactly what it is, a foam wing caddis. So this has been one of the staples in my fly boxes for many years. Now, I'll put it up there with the elk hair caddis as two of my go-to dry flies. And pretty much any time an elk hair cast would work for you, this thing will too, but this one does have one advantage. It's a, a very good floater. It's not a real high floater, but with this foam wing, you can hang a pretty heavy dropper off of it. So again, a very simple pattern, and I usually tie this by the dozen at the beginning of the season to fill my fly boxes, and I think you're going to like it. Let's give it a shot. So there it is in the vise. Good old foam wing caddis. Now I'm tying this on a size 14. Tie this in whatever size you tie your elk hair caddises. You know, maybe as big as a 12, not often a 10, but then definitely down to a 16, 18, maybe even 20s. And I'm going to use a tan thread. This is 70 denier. And I'll lay a base down to the bend. Now, no tail on this guy. It is a caddis. So we're going to go straight into dubbing the body. Put a little wax on. And I'm using rabbit but use a synthetic if you want. And a tan, light yellow, I think this is actually a light ginger, but this part of the fly, you can make whatever the, the caddis are in your water, whatever you're trying to imitate. Could be a green, could be a, a brown, a gray, you know, just whatever is, is hatching in your water time of year. So we'll go ahead and, and wrap this body all the way up to a couple eye lengths back. It might take a couple of applications to get it up there. Okay, there's my body. Got a few of these rabbits sticking out. Just pluck them or don't worry about them. Okay, the next component we're going to tie in is the foam wing. This is, I just cut a long strip of two millimeter in yellow. And I'll, I'll take a, a small piece, maybe you know, longer than the body because we'll cut it off in the, in the, when we're done. And I'll make a slight little taper on the end, not to a point because you still need a, a bit of foam to be catching it in. So, but trim off the, the corners will make it just a little bit easier. So lay this in right on top. A few good wraps right there and angled up. That's what we want. Now bury this and take it back right here. Now we're going to catch in the hackle that we're going to wrap. And this is going to be a brown. Um, you could use, you know, a, another ginger. You could use whatever you use for your caddis type flies. And I want it just barely longer than the hook point. So this is gonna work here, because keep in mind, we're gonna put a thorax on here and it will thicken it up a little bit. So I'll just strip a little section like that where I've got some bare stem showing. Snip that off and then just catch this in right here. I'm gonna have that little stem right there to contend with. That's fine. And I'm gonna take my thread right to the back where I'm gonna be wrapping this thorax. Put a little bit more wax on. We're gonna use that same dubbing we used for the body. And it's not gonna take much. So we've got that, uh, put it on pretty thin because you've, you do have that foam under there. And this is gonna be thicker than the body and that's fine but you just don't want it to be crazy thick okay i think that's going to work can always add more okay so yeah that's going to be fine right there it almost looks like an october caddis and in fact if you tied it in you know some rusty colors uh, you could make it an october caddis because we're kind of 
I wouldn't say palmering this up through here, but we are a little bit because we're only going to do about four wraps up front here. Maybe even three if you've got some good hackle, but I'm going to go ahead and, and do four right there. Catch it off with a couple of thread wraps right here. Now let's get in here and snip this and then make our head. So how are we going to do this head? We've got enough room. Yeah, we'll make room. We'll just pull this back a little bit. Don't need a lot of room. It is a dry fly. You don't want your head to get too big, but just enough to get this whip finish on here. And then if we have some hairs, fibers sticking forward, we can trim those in the last step. So I'm going to do a four turn right there. And it looks like I trapped a couple of fibers going forward. But there'll be no match for my scissors. Okay, now, last step. Cut the wing to the length we want, just a little bit past the bend of the hook. So I'm gonna go maybe right there. And then we're gonna cut a little notch out in it. So cut this straight across for your first cut. And then, this is hard to do when it's in the vise. So I'm gonna pull it out. I don't know if you'll be able to see what I'm doing here, but I'll show you in just a second. I'm going to cut a little V right here. And I don't know what this does for it, but all the ones I've seen have that little notch cut out. So let's put this back in here and show you what I'm talking about. So you got that little, little V cut out the bottom. It probably doesn't make a bit of difference to have it, but that's it. Very simple pattern. Like I said, I tie these by the dozen. A little drop of head cement and this is going in my box. So that's it everybody. I appreciate you watching. Y'all take care and we'll see you next time.